Hello everybody, I am back with another Space Flight Simulator video and today we are launching something very special to Planet 9. If you don't know what Planet 9 is, it's a hypothetical ninth planet that is lurking at the edge of our solar system and scientists haven't photographed it yet. They're trying to use like James Webb and all those fancy space telescopes to try to find it. They're using ground telescopes and all that because apparently there's like some gravitational anomalies beyond Neptune that nobody knows what, you know, what causes them i mean there are a few explanations you know that kick planet nine out of the equation like i i don't really know right now <laughs> i'm just doing this commentary but yeah it's pretty cool it's uh, awesome to imagine a ninth planet in the solar system that nobody knew about and imagine discovering a planet in the 21st century that's inside our solar system That'd be so cool. Anyway, we've entered Earth orbit after ditching the fairing and the first stage and all that. You can see that we are now launching the Space Corn Dog, but it's not just any Space Corn Dog. It is a Space Corn Dog Mark II. As you can see, it is all silver and it has two probes and a satellite dish attached to it. That is because we need that giant satellite dish to, you know, connect with Earth from planet nine because it's really far away and it'll take the signal like a day or two to get back to earth. But also it's because I did a poll. You might be wondering why am I launching this um, silly thing to uh, planet nine? It's because I did a poll saying, what should I launch to planet nine? I'm making a mission to go to planet nine. And what should I launch? And out of orbiter, lander, Rover, Impactor, and Space Corn Dog. The Space Corn Dog obviously won, which I did not want the Space Corn Dog to win, but it did. And I was like, oh well, I guess I'll just have to launch the Space Corn Dog then. But I didn't want to launch the the, the plain Space Corn Dog, so I told my space agency, Power Aerospace, uh, to remake the Space Corn Dog, add more things to it, and. There it is on your screen. That's it. That's the new space corn dog the space agency made. Oh, there go the antennas. And we begin our trek to the ninth planet of the solar system. You might notice that the orbit is very elliptical. I launched to planet nine when uh, it was in periapsis, when it was closest to uh, the sun, because I, I, I didn't want to, you know, waste extra, extra delta V to, you know, Meet Planet 9 at Apoapsis, that would have taken way too long and all that stuff. And now we have entered the sphere of influence of the secret ninth planet of the solar system. Well, it's not really secret anymore, is it? Because we found it. And yeah, just uh, adjusting my trajectory because I didn't want to do a flyby. I want to enter orbit because I did three, no, four out of the five options. I completely forgot about Impactor until I'm reminding myself right now. Uh, anyway, we're uh, now coming up to Periapsis over Planet Nine and firing the two uh, ion engines that are specifically designed for this mission to enter orbit around the ninth planet of the solar system. And there we go, we're entering orbit. I'm going to enter in a slightly elliptical orbit because I don't like a circular orbit. I, you know, well I do, I like perfect circular orbits, but like, I feel like this mission is already like unique. So might as well go the extra mile with like a slightly elliptical orbit. I think I change it to a circular orbit later on. But here we are uh, approaching Apoapsis and we are actually going to deorbit ourselves. No, we're not going to crash the probe just yet. We are going to detach the lander, which is on the right side of the spacecraft. There it goes. And that thing's going to enter the atmosphere and yeah, just, just land on the surface of Planet Nine and just start sending data. It has a little antenna that, you know, is retractable and all that stuff. And re-entering orbit to make sure that we don't fall into the planet, into the planet's atmosphere ourselves. And switching to the lander and time warping till we hit the planet's atmosphere. You can start to see a little bit of the planet's atmosphere right there. It's a little like tan colored, kind of like Venus's atmosphere. So I wonder what its composition is. I wonder why there's so perfect lighting out here if it's so far away from the sun. Well, anyway, we're now entering the atmosphere and uh, just a spoiler, I have no heat damage on. 
uh, as you can see later the probe will completely flip out of control and three two one there we go <laughs> the probe completely flipped out of control and yeah thankfully it had no heat damage on because it would have been destroyed anyway staying on topic of no heat damage a lot of people hate on my videos because they say you use no heat damage these videos aren't authentic blah 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 i'm like well yeah that's true but i mean it's not like infinite fuel or anything like that where it really affects the gameplay i mean it kind of does like it kind of makes heat shields uh obsolete but I, I just like having no heat damage on as like a cautionary measure because i don't want my rocket to explode after traveling like all this way to planet nine and just having the probe spin out oh there's a little antenna having the probe spin out of control and burn up and me having to do the entire mission again and i don't like using quick saves so yeah that's why i use no heat damage on uh if you don't like me using no heat damage you can just leave <laughs> Oh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, right there. I'm uh, making my orbit slightly circular. Well, I already did. <laughs> I kind of just talked over that. And we're actually performing another deorbit burn because you might have noticed we have another little capsule where a small rover is encased. I almost hit that antenna. Let me just change the name real quick to rover so I don't get confused because, you know, it's... Um, it really wasn't necessary, but I just, you know, like doing that. And firing engine to enter orbit again, because, you know, again, I don't want to fall into the planet's atmosphere and die. <laughs> so, yeah, switching to the rover and beginning our descent to the ninth planet of the solar system, or planet nine. Or, you know what, I'm just calling it, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to call it nine from now on. We're making our descent to nine, we're entering the atmosphere, and... Spoiler alert, once again, this flips out. So these uh, these two little probes aren't the greatest at um, atmospheric travel. If you're going to download this craft from the description, and yes, I will put it in the description for you guys who always ask, BB, please, BB, please, BB, please. Uh, that wasn't like to offend anybody. I just think it's funny that everybody just asks that. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll put this in the description and you can have as much fun as you want with the space corn dog. Anyway, what was I saying? I completely forgot what I was saying. Anyway, right here we are jettisoned the heat shield and the uh, two side panels or aero shell, whatever it's called. And beginning our slow descent via parachute to planet nine. You might notice that the uh, the surface is actually purple. I don't know if you saw. Ooh. Oh, I got scared right there when I was playing this. I was like, oh, please don't hit me. And look at that. The surface. It's a different color. It's purple. Why? Why is it purple? That's why we sent this rover to investigate, you know, because we, we, we got to uncover the mysteries of planet nine. And I, you know kind of zoomed out there so you can see that there's more purple on the surface i wonder why wait what's this we're getting a transmission from the probe it, it's getting its first high definition images of planet nine let's see let's see what it looks like whoa guys it's nine <laughs> Aha! Get bamboozled, everybody! This video was about Sonic Prime the entire time, telling you to please go watch the series. It's a really good show on Netflix, and it's getting a second season. I'm really hyped for it. I really want to see how they resolve the cliffhanger because, you know, it, it left me in suspense. I want to know what happens. I obviously don't want to spoil anything if those of you who are watching this video are interested. Please go watch it. It's really cool. And while we watch this spectacular show with a space corn dog getting completely disintegrated, I want to take the opportunity to say to please go subscribe to my second channel. I put a lot of effort into those videos and it's really sad when people don't watch them. And all of my socials are in the description, my Twitter, my Discord, and my Instagram, all of that. And so is the blueprint for the Space Corn Dog Mark II. Uh, if you managed to get it, I really hope you like the blueprint. I spent like an hour designing the Space Corn Dog Mark II, and I, I think it's a um, really cool uh, upgrade to its uh, predecessor, the Space Corn Dog Mark I. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and. 
Have a wonderful day, everybody. Please watch Sonic Prime.